Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now we're gonna talk about CCMP Labs. Okay, so here I have been we're gonna make this lab, the CIGF configuration for lab one in this video, and then this is the topology. Okay, so why you we why we use Vnet because some of the feature at packet tracer is not available or explicit because or restriction yeah okay so we're gonna make the real images from this Cisco and we're gonna make it we must make it at the peanut lab for example okay so we're gonna here yeah, just know because if you type yes they uh, the Cisco we gonna uh, the router we uh, gonna to configuration uh are gonna <clears throat> are gonna ask you for some of some of question for the def default configuration okay just here we're gonna type no okay for r2 is to type no and then here enable configure terminal and set the host name first r1 and then you can ip at is this is depending on your interface so here i'm gonna use ethereal 0 slash 0 but here is serial but we're gonna just change the interface and same the ip address okay so here is zero slash zero okay interface first okay interface is zero slash zero ip at 1.1.1.1255.0.0.0 okay then no shutdown because by default the interface that at cisco has been shut down now now the interface has been up i'm gonna make this one here I'm gonna use interface is zero slash one IP at ten point one point one point one point one two five five point zero point zero point zero okay now now shut down two and do right for saving the configuration as you can see now the state is up now we're gonna go to R2 so here enable configure terminal then set the host name first for <coughs> different between both of the router okay this is the r2 and go to interface e0.0 ip at 1.1.1.2255.0.0.0 okay then no shutdown and IP and now go to interface okay the state is up interface e0 slash 1 IP at 20.1.1.1.255.0.0.0 and now we're gonna set this the mean of this lab it's setting the ERGRP so we're gonna go to r1 gain set router eigrp 100 okay now we're gonna add the network test you gonna be <coughs> gonna be set to this eigrp setting <clears throat> and this 100 is your AS number, but in this case, we're gonna use one, uh, AS 100. Okay, network 1.0.0.0, and then network 10.0.0.0. Okay, now do right, don't forget to save it, and now go to R2 router. Okay, this uh, shutdown. Uh huh. 
Now do what? Now I'm gonna go to put the EIGRP 100. Okay. Now we're gonna network 100. Oh wait, network one point zero point zero point zero, and then network. Okay, as you can see, this up the new IGDNC and network ten point zero point zero point zero, and don't forget for the no auto summary. Okay, this no auto summary is very function because if you <clears throat> set it to by auto summary there we're gonna go to classful that's gonna that's depending on your on your eight network so you, as you can see here it's 1.1.1 and there is two any so the the if you Turn on the auto summary. The <clears throat> the router IIGRP is gonna set to best classful for both of these networks. So we're gonna set to not something. Okay. So that's it. Do right. <clears throat> Don't forget to add here to no auto summary. Do right. Okay. So make sure it didn't, uh, if you you have this notification bit, uh, at the bottom of the router, that means the <clears throat> wait this one is network twenty. Okay, so here that means the new agency has been set up between the router 1 and the R2 via Ethernet 0 slash 0 <clears throat> now for the verification you can just this <clears throat> you can you can type do show IP here GRP neighbor for showing the neighbor, neighbor of your EIGRP. Okay, so it has been, you can see, <clears throat> in the R1, in this interface, Ethernet 0 says 0, and the IP address is 1.1.1.2. Then, I'm gonna go to R2.2, to show IP, EIGRP neighbor you can see this is a residency in the R2 has been bringing up as you can see this address is pointing to the R1 <clears throat> then the, at the R1 is pointing to the R2 so that's been successful adjacency up if and you, if you can see the routing table to show IP root <coughs> the output the <coughs> as this R1 it's <coughs> available <coughs> Here you can see this setting that I configured at the R2 as adjacency via router 2. Okay, and if you go to R2, R2, okay, if you do show IP root, you can see the routing table from the <coughs> uh, that's R1 that's configured at the R1. Okay, here you can see. Via 1.1.1.1, okay. <coughs> <coughs> okay. 
to to make sure you can ping the ping 10 when 1.1.1 okay has been success to the other one so that's it for this lab one thank you for watching you can drop comment for some or ask question sorry to say Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh thank you